with all that other stuff done and out of the way, we are going to be continuing on. And something that I've been looking forward to doing for the last week at this point is we actually unlocked World 2 of the simulated universe in my last session. I think it's the equilibrium level that increases the overall rewards that you get within the simulated universe. So unfortunately, I still have the same rewards that I redeemed last week. Just coming over here. These are all the rewards that I've been farming up so far. And I think World 2 will give me the necessary points to cap out the rest of this. But yeah, so we've officially unlocked World 2. Oh, we get a Herta? Yo, okay. I wanted to save the first run of every world that I do for the simulated universe because I heard they give you like a bunch of lore. Like in this whole simulation is about trying to connect with the Aeons through this simulated like video game program that Herta and her colleagues are doing. All of my characters right now are either level 39 or 40. So all of them are kind of pushed to the point where I think they need to be at, but I'm going to put a team together and hopefully I don't get steamrolled. I will do the cosmic fragments for right now. 13. Oh my God. That's so much more than last time. I have no element resistance for these guys. Turn it up. Let's begin. Oh, that's fine. I can just like fucking body everything. Okay. You know what? Never mind. I actually might just... Oh shit, it's Lon! <laughs> Yo, we just read about this guy. Dude, he looks sick! You stand in the vast expanses of whiteness and raise your head. You see a tall, valiant figure like a crown prince striding across the fragmentum. The dazzling stellar wind wavered. You see them drawing a bow and then they suddenly leap into the distance. You clearly see them coming, but after a moment, only his shadow remains. I'm also going to say this right now. That facial part of him reminds me of Capitano from the Winter Nights Lazo, like the Harbinger. Lon, the hunt, her to whisper. Whispered. Oh, Lon the Hunt, Herta whispered. Don't be in a daze. They are ahead of you. Hurry up and call them. You find yourself unable to move at all. It's like they have nailed you to an invisible wall and you don't even know when they made the move. You struggle saying their name and... It's a turn-based game, you only... <laughs> All right, your name is Lon. They ignore you, and in the blink of a not, I should have picked the other one. That one's at least interesting. Don't be too discouraged. I will increase their social attributes next time. Herta was a little disappointed. They moved too fast, but I'll be able to intercept some of their information. They're probably not very familiar with Akavili. Some time passed. She added, perhaps they only have their enemy, the abundance in my yeah. <laughs> They're like, fuck you and the life that you bring to this world. Your abominations. The abundance. Yeah, Yao Shi the Aeon of Abundance, her to answer it indifferently. The kindest being in the whole universe, probably also a monster. They would heal everything they see, be it as small as an atom or as large as the galaxy. Perhaps they can solve your Stellaron problem for you. Yeah, I don't want to be immortal and then I'll have freaking lawn on my ass. No, thank you. Oh, we have more of these. Oh, they're all hunt based. Okay, uh, I'm going to do the crit damage by 20%. Wow, dude, I literally don't have any of these resistances. I literally just compensated for the elites and the boss. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I mean, I'm freaking blitzing the hell out of these guys right now. So I'm going to also get all of the ones that I don't have if I can make that choice. Hopefully it won't mess me up later. Ha, ha. There we go. Solid GG, boys. Okay, all of these, I have them. Uh, yeah, I'll take the shield. Uh, occurrence or combat? Occurrences kind of scare me because I never really know what they're going to offer. So I think I'm just going to stick to the main aspect of the fights. Easy clap, boys. Ready for another? Starting to get a lot of the same ones. When you deal damage, there's a chance of a 2% chance to freeze. Oh, hell yeah. I'm at 102% with Jafard now. Netmarker's activated. Time get him, Pela. <laughs> Imagine being shocked, Moving frozen, support. and imprisoned all at the same time. All right, what do we got next here? Another preservation. Yeah, I think I'll do the preservation here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to double down on preservation for right now. Jafar's going to come in clutch towards the end. Or maybe he'll come in clutch right now. You. All righty. <laughs> oh, I actually froze him with that. This ends here. <laughs> Enemy turret. GG. 
Okay, not bad. Uh, when a character's turn begins, gain one stack of critical boosts. When a character breaks an enemy's weakness, their action advances by 100% and damage dealt on their next attack increases by 50. Holy shit, that's wild. Celestial Annihilation. They just spoiled Genshin Impact. Celestia is going to destroy everything. I'll go for this one because I don't think I'll like one turn everything. Oh, hello, Herta. What's going on? What do you got for me? Enhance two existing blessings at random. Purchase one for 80. I'll just do the two random, I think. Oh, let's go. Okay, six out of 13. Damn, I really fumbled. I don't have wind or fire, and that's what all of these enemies are like weak to. Not that I need it, because I'm like one turning everything, literally. I'm going to increase the crit rate. Increase the max damage absorbed by shields. Entering a battle, characters gain a shield. Oh, I like that one. Let's do that. Bah! World 2 is kind of going very smoothly. Okay, so we have two new ones here. Upon entering battle, character speed increases by 30% until they are attacked. When a character defeats, restore their HP equal to 48%. I'll stick to the health. I'm also going to avoid the occurrences like the plague. I'll do that off stream when I do like multiple runs. It's better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to have to redo this entire thing. Characters gain six defense for every preservation. Oh, I have a couple of... Let's do that. Okay, we're gaming. Oh, this guy looks really powerful. There seems to be something wrong with this enemy's data you can't apply real world experience to this kind of enemy be careful why is this man like fucking ko kenned out right now look at this guy we're gonna pray for the best ladies and gentlemen do we still have the upper hand oh uh, i hope oh he froze nice i get my turns again good shit okay i will love it if i kill this guy and he doesn't even like attack me in the name of landau in the name of landau a will forged in ice never falters all right wish us luck yo five and i just permafrost this guy for the whole round okay you know what? i'll do the launch one god damn oh speak of the devil let's level up again Okay, okay. Oh, there's three things here now. Hold on, what is this? Event? Oh, I have to do this, I think. Okay, let's see. You enter the circular room with a tree with white branches tied in ropes. It's beauty and sacredness, which makes it look like a dancing statue blows you away. Several soldiers are leaning against the tree and you are not sure whether they are sleeping. They are pious soldiers with faces as pale as sheet. You can't help moving closer to the tree. You hear slow crackling sound of the tree wave to and fro. There's a wooden board next to its roots as it reads, water it and it will bloom. All characters lose HP equal to 20% of their current health. All characters lose HP equal to 80%. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Region encounter. I'm a little worried about it. I'm going to go to the occurrence at this point. Three timid sequence creatures bump into you as you wander across the wilderness. They react differently to your presence. One is trembling, one is ready to flee, and one is in combat position. Like the pigs, do I have to fight them? You enter a room with three trotters. Be mindful they don't run away. Oh, these are different ones. Oh, this one isn't weak to anything. Let's try and get these guys before they run away. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit this guy. All right. Oh, no! I couldn't weakness break the first one. Shit! God damn it, chat! This is stressing me out. I'm gonna do this. Hey, let's go. I don't know what happens. Do I get primo gems for these? God damn it. Ooh, who moved my Pokeball? <laughs> damn, ho, you're trying to catch a lawsuit, my dude. <laughs> I'm going to choose this hunt one because I don't have it already. I think I'm almost done. Yeah, this is the last one before the boss. Cool. This should be the shop. There we go. Let's see. What do we got here? We are prepped and ready for the boss fight. Wish me luck. What's with that abyssal stuff above the head? Oh, there's two. Yo, it's Ormstein and Smoke. It's a big guy and a tiny guy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, there's a chunky dude and then there's a slim guy. And we just had a Bloodborne reference earlier in the playthrough. I assume they have a two phase. Turn it up. Time for some oh, hardship. they're both down. Okay, cool. Oh! All of them? All four of them got taunted. Jesus. I'm just gonna play it safe, I guess. All right, one down. There we go. Round two. Thank you, Japard. Holy shit. Everyone shielded. All right. This is what I was afraid of. We're not taunted anymore. Thank God. 
teamwork attack? What the heck is that? That's kind of cool. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not as cool as I wanted it to be. Commencing support. Ooh, they both got in prison. Good shit. Oh, careful. All right, they're actually taking damage now. Jesus, four attacks? I should have actually waited to use that at the end of Welt's turn, but eh. Oh, I killed him? Let's go. Not bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're kidding me. All four of my characters got taunted in the same turn. I can only attack him. I can't do anything else. Oh, big damage. All right, I got this, right? Let's go. GG, boys. That was looking a little scary there at the end. Not gonna lie. <laughs> 13 out of 13. We got the herd of bond. I think I can get... Oh, I need two more. Was world too difficult? Eh, it was a piece of cake. I mean, I'm overleveled as fuck, so... Well, the simulated universe has an ability tree system. I'm debating whether to enable it. If I do, you'll gradually grow stronger in the simulated universe, but I can't say whether that's a good thing. You should try it. Oh, okay. So I guess that unlocked now because I finished it. Oh, this is so freaking cool. While exploring the simulated universe, ability points can be obtained. Use ability points to activate ability and gain powerful exploration buffs. Choose path resonance. During combat in the simulated universe, actively consuming energy might lead to path resonance, which can earn a buff in combat. In the simulated universe, all characters attack increase by 70, defense by 60, HP by 130. Oh, okay. Oh, what a fucking badass. Oh, and you get like lore on them too. Oh, it's talking more about the Xianzhou Alliance. God, that shit's so cool. Oh, and we got the Herta Idolman, right? Yeah, good shit. Hit where it hurts when talent is triggered damage increased by 10 percent time to twirl Alrighty, so simulated universe is wrapped up and finished we got a bunch of rewards we got our herd of idolin we unlocked world two we are picking up where we left off as of right now bronia went back up to the surface to confront her mother she kind of went preemptively while we're kind of working things together with everyone in the underworld i guess we're all going to collectively get together sampo is going to bring us back up top and then we're going to confront the supreme guardian the longer you stay in this giant underground space the harder it is to differentiate between the cold rock ceiling and the sky. It's time to return to the surface, but you won't be able to without any help. Because if you could, you would have done so. <laughs> Isn't that right? The members of Wildfire extended Bronius greeting to you and are willing to guide you, but you can't be picky about the guide. Prepare yourself mentally and leave with Sampo. All right, Scampo, please don't do me dirty. Still something you want to talk about? You can still chit chat with them about different things. Mm, not much. We just chatted a bit. Care to elaborate? What exactly did you talk about? It's like an invasion of privacy, my God. Mm, it really isn't worth going into. I promised her that I would help her rebuild the connection between the overworld and the underworld. Mm. That's all. Rebuild y'all's love connection, I see. Looking forward to this journey? I didn't really give it much thought, but traveling with you bunch does always lead to unexpected surprises. Hardy combat and exciting adventures. Not bad. I certainly don't hate it. Hmm. Have you said goodbye? to everyone of course <laughs> you didn't see the look on joshua's face Aww. he could barely hold back his tears nah. chief oleg he didn't say much but I know he's not the kind to wear his heart on his sleeve. It was my choice to go up, and Natasha supported my decision. Nice. You could use another person who can fight, right? <laughs> yeah, I need all the five stars I can get. All right, I'll talk to Chief Oleg, and then we'll get out of here with Sampo. Something you wanted to ask? About you and Natasha. Natasha, trust me. In her eyes, an ex-military officer was more suited to be the leader of the organization than a doctor. Mm. But the most important thing a leader needs is a strong heart. True. An ability to unite everyone toward a common cause. In that respect, no one in the underground comes close to her. I heard you came from the overworld. I was actually once an officer of the Silver Main Guard. Oh, that's cool. After being discharged due to an injury, I followed my old lady here to the underworld. Hmm. Plan to retire. His left arm is like metallic. I don't know if that's an injury or if that's aesthetic, but I noticed that as he was talking. But as things would have it, I ended up busier than ever. Do you regret it? There's nothing to regret. Life in the underworld is hard, but people here are kind and 
Everyone is close, like one big family. <laughs> the family, am I right, chat? God, what's next for Wildfire? Wildfire has already made it through its darkest days. With Natasha's leadership, we have the confidence to lead the Underworlders to a brighter future. Nice. And much of that is thanks to all of you. Aw. Fortunately, Svarog turned out to have some useful information for you. While well, you still have a long journey ahead. I have no doubt our paths will cross again one day. See you later. All right, I want to talk to you, Scampo. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Not yet. I have questions. Ask away, my friend. I have all the answers you seek. Tell me about Japard Landau. Oh, my God. What else is there to say? You know him as well as I do. He's an upstanding guy as well as uh, young, handsome, and charming in his <laughs> lack of charm. <laughs> But to be honest, I'm not very close to him. After all, he's an officer and I'm the opposite. The opposite. You're a scallywag? Serval Landau. Oh, she's quite extraordinary. The renowned rebellious Landau girl. She once had a bright future, but after getting on her leader's bad side, oh. she lost her job. She ended up opening a workshop and playing underground music. Dude, big Shin Yan vibes too. I heard that her old man was furious and that only a few younger siblings are still in contact with her. Aww, Lynx. I used to go to her sometimes when I had any mechanical problems above ground, but for uh, various reasons, I don't visit her workshop much anymore. Okay, talk about the furnace core. It's a passage connecting the underworld and the overworld, a big stone spiral stairway. You know, I don't understand the architect's obsession with making these steps when there is such advanced technology available. <laughs> Wouldn't an elevator have been better? Okay. Uh, it's easier for you youngsters. For this old guy, the steps of the furnace core are a nightmare on the knees. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Sam. You haven't heard enough about me, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. My name is Sampo Kaski. I'm a businessman who stands up for justice in his free time. <laughs> and no, I don't have it in for you. All right, so you stand up for justice in your free time. So what do you do in your busy time? Hmm? He literally told me nothing. Let's Wonderful. go. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Scampo Kaski over here. Oh, mother. Mama Kolia. I have returned. Mama Rand. I thought I'd lost you. Well, you got some explaining to do. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sebas? Sorry, mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the uh... underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. Yeah, I got some perspective, mother. The underworld. Oh, I see. Uh. Oh. In that case, report everything you saw, Commander Branya. Damn, the switch up? After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few uh. issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Yeah, <laughs> she's not happy. I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the oh, sake of others. Oh boy. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. <laughs> we have not seen her eyes at all since she started talking. You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? The responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Mm. Such is the burden of being guardian to carry these secrets for eternity. I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellar on the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the the Enough! Uh-oh, mother has spoken. Arrogant. Ignorant. Mm. Disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Damn, she's got perspective, bomb. Guards, take Branya. What? They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me, I remember it clearly now. Yeah, you tell her, Branya. This time, I am. Standing my ground, Madam Guardian. <laughs> and please, stop. 
stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Mm. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Bro, that Stellaron must be fucking around with her. Like, messing with her mind, controlling her, corrupting her, right? It's cancer. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. Mm. You want to know why I gave those orders? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes, I am ready. Uh-oh. Mother. Am I ready? Am I ready, Chad? I don't know. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. The hell was that? <sighs> That was eerie. Why is it always the good looking ones? Why do they always have to make it difficult for me? Ah, we're finally back. I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. Okay, Mart. <laughs> what flavor is it? <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. <laughs> She's like, mmm, tastes like free America. <laughs> Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel. Oh, again. thank God. Yeah, I'm not going back to that hotel. Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. Bruh. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Did we come out of that manhole behind us? Did we just come out of the sewers? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's find land. Oh, yeah, sure. The bro or the Sis, if you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. Sister's cool. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. <laughs> Don Hung, what do you think? I think we should see the sister. I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. Thank you, Dan Hung. So you think we should avoid Japard for the time being? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Yep. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Serval's workshop then? Let's do it. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Oh yeah, Zila's like, oh, bitch, you live like this? Like, what is this world? Nothing. It's... Just a little new. The last time I was on the surface, wow. I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. I'll take you around. They have some great trash cans here. The overworld and the underworld. We've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. Let's get this bread. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Cleanse in Usually the darkness like outside. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. Should I stay away from guards? My Okay, never mind. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. You know what? I'm just gonna keep on with the plot. The shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. It's the radiator fixers. <laughs> ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Ha. Uh, Why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silvermane guards are looking all over for you? Yeah, let me in. Act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. All right, Serval's an accessory. She's harboring fugitives. All right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and... Barely anyone comes in. <clears throat> Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. We didn't do anything. Oh. We just... Not yet, March. Branya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? <laughs> Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. <gasps> I refuse to stand with her. Oh, shit. She used to be with the Architects? That's kind of pog. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Mm. Besides, I know the Architects. And if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. True. Do you know Kokolia well? You could say that. We were like sisters once. Really? Inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the supreme guardian. They used to be friends? Sisters? These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop. How old is Serval? What music. the fuck? It's a pretty carefree existence. I mean, she is the older sibling, I guess, so she looks really young, though. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If Long Lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. Hmm. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> we may as well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. Ooh, I'm the best story 
tell her. Let me, let me. Oh, okay, March. Try not to embellish the facts. Tell us all about your time in the underworld and what you know about the Stellaron. And that's how I saved Christmas. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. Mm. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. Oh? When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, oh, I was researching the Stellaron. What? What the hell? Serval is actually kind of goaded. Damn. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on. I'll tell you everything. Oh, tell me everything. Reveal to me your secrets. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarog, the architects dug out the truth long ago. Mm. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Yeah. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. Hey, maybe she did that to protect you, you know? How much do you know about the Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Yeah. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. Mm. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Yeah. Did we only tell her about the situation in the underworld? Because like, hey, we have a Stellaron. If you want to like study us or something, I don't know. Do you know what Kakolia's end goal is? It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. Mm, let's correlate everything that's wrong with the Stellaron and make things a lot easier for us. She gave the order to expel me herself, refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation and the real Kokolia has already vanished. I was kind of thinking that because I was like, how do these voices just transcend from one guardian to the next? But like if the Stellaron is always here, maybe it just hostile takes over itself. But I was thinking that. I was wondering if it was like a transfer of power of some sort. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians? to make such baffling decisions. Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. Oh, can we talk to Japard? Japard? Not a chance. Uh He's a decent guy, but also famously <laughs> uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Mm. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, <laughs> He wouldn't be swayed. Oh, okay, he's a boy scout. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. Mm. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. All right. Do you know where the Stellaron is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. All right, let's hear it. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog. Ooh. Somewhere in the vast snow plains. New area? We must locate it as soon as possible. Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Okay. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. A whole heap of Fragmentum? Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. <laughs> the Fragmentum there has quite literally torn everything to pieces. There's no sign of life, despite the monsters. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Are you kidding me? Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hmm. Hey, 
enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, <laughs> back I spent in a lot my of time day, in the north. <laughs> I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. Damn, that was the most boomer comment she's said so far. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Head out with Serval and go to the Silvermane Guard Restricted Zone. Oh, oh my God. I didn't even leave yet. Mm. Uh oh. <sighs> Darn it. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Oh, great. Find somewhere to hide quick. I'll handle him. Damn, harboring fugitives. J Japard, <laughs> it's you. I. Didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things hmm. so tense on the front line. <laughs> God, it's so great to see them two interacting so soon, too. Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Oh, yes. That's right. Play it cool. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no, no. Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Oh dear. Wait, what did you call him? You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. <laughs> It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Bros. <laughs> right, Brosif. <laughs> I call my brother that. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's going on, Brosif? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. I thought she would call him like Jeppy or something. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble. You. Why are you being so polite? <clears throat> oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? Uh Oh, I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Ah, uh, Mr. Boy Scout over here. Lil Jeppy. <laughs> so oh, wait. Oh my God. Billion sister. She actually calls him that? I was joking. My family called me Arnie. So <laughs> I was Arnie as a kid. And then as I got older, they just called me by my name, Arnold. They also called me Arnie because me and my dad have the same name. They didn't want to call both of us Arnold to confuse us. So my dad was Arnold and I was Arnie. Don't say that. <sighs> Forget it. If I don't tell you, Palo will. Uh. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. Mm. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. Yep. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's mm. how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. <laughs> and she never will. The Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. Dude, Zila's right there. Are you kidding me? You couldn't find a better spot to hide? Well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, she barely has time to freaking rock those drums. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. No! Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over. Bruh. What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. Is it gonna be like one of those classic like she distracts him while they're like walking behind him out of that door it's yeah. um oh right you remember how you neglected all those flowers to death i piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning and now they smell terrible so don't go over there seems like a strange reason not to take a look <laughs> Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Please, no. No forbidden research in this game. I can't handle. Uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Never mind. <laughs> this is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. But your limited edition flask! Uh, hey, uh, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the Bruh. city. Bruh. Imagine believing that. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Ficolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking matter. She's like, I wasn't joking. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will. Hmm. If I have the time. Goodbye, Mr. E2 man. The coast is clear. You can come out now. Damn, that was close. That was hella close. Jesus Christ. I nearly suffered. 
complicated. <laughs> what kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klepoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. <laughs> Let's hope. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Have you thought of a way to persuade Drapard? I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellar on, Kokolia will be out of options. All right, let's do it. Is Branya really safe? Oh. You care about her, huh? Oh, we get to go this way we now. We must have become close friends. Close <laughs> is a bit much. Yeah, they're getting there. But I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. Hell yeah. I can believe that. We got this. Don't worry. Oh, they've jacked Ooh. up security, all right. How the heck are we going to sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys. Uh-oh. And don't get spotted. Okay. Trick the guards to get into the restricted zone? Wait, how are we going to trick this man? This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Yeah, I'm about to hit him with those Jedi mind tricks. Wait, isn't that... Ha! Serval! <laughs> Long time no see. I'm a big fan of your band. Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. <laughs> still nailing us to the wall. So... What brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. Hmm. So he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. Damn. We need to overhaul all the installations here. He's about to finesse these people. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. Good job. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Man's derelict of his duty right now. He's like, yeah, just go on in. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no. Captain Jappard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. Aw, he seems kind of wholesome. This freaking night. Oh my God. What an absolute unit. This man's got a freaking lance, a giant ass freaking full body shield. And this man's kitted out from head to toe. I'm aware that there are those those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. Uh-oh. Well, let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. <laughs> this is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Giga Chad moment. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. <laughs> Wait, he said behind us? Like, you, you actually know I'm behind you right now? What's going on? The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra minutes of one arm planks to our daily drill. Bruh. Is that clear? What a hard ass. Yes, sir. Good thing I'm not a part of this freaking army brigade nonsense. See, that was easy. All right. You're Jepard's sister, all right. I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using my brother's name. We appreciate it. Hmm. All those temporary passes. Uh-oh. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. Okay, they work. The restricted zone virtually never allows outsiders in. All right, am I going to have to, like, clap this guy real quick? Like, bah! You didn't see anything there, buddy. Ooh, this is an open area. mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. <laughs> And what's hell like exactly? It's a place too cold to bear, mm. covered in snow and ice. The guys doing the scientific research don't have time to worry about the surroundings. The restricted zone front line is on the other side of the gear bridge. It's an endless fragmentum with Ooh. a few exhausted silver main guards and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Uh, Are you ready? I'm dressed to impress. Let's do it. We've come this far. Exactly. We've got nowhere left to retreat. Let's go then. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. Is Jepard on frontline duty a lot? Okay, we gotta go down this way. Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? Mm. It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. Yo, in the name of Landau, am I right? <laughs> Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? <laughs> 
They are a fan of Serval. Oh, I sure did. Halo was on lead vocals this time. Ooh. Scared me half to death. It's a completely different style. Halo on that freaking screamo vocals? What's going on? Even mechanical fever is changing. <sighs> oh. Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Oh my god. Don't be so pessimistic. They're just keeping things fresh. I thought Pela was pretty good. Yo, Pela actually coming in clutch. This terminal's offline. We can't control right. it from There's here. There's another one on the right side. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. There's one on both sides. <laughs> I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. Uh -oh. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. That's sad. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. That's unfortunate. Oh, darn! Can't activate it. Seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. Someone deliberately trying to create trouble. I, you know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. Oh man. With the front line on high alert. Sampa, where are you at? The bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. That makes sense. That's terrible. Branya was right. The silver guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Yeah. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum monsters. I guess. Let's press on. Yeah, look at this big guy. Oh my god. Holy shit, are they that big? Holy shit. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work. I'm sorry. It does feel super weird though. Just be like moving about with the guards. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get hostile on me pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? Malik? Seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. As long as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. Hmm. I see. I assume the plot's gonna lead me over here, so I'm not gonna... Oh. You! Hold it right there. Uh-oh. This is a military base. Temporary workers aren't allowed in. Okay. Oh, there you go. At least I know where I'm kind of being curated. That's it. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. Oh, yeah, I see it right there. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. It's meh. M-E-H. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Mm. We learned the hard way. As as long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Won't that cause a commotion? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Serval. Big brain. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Say, like, hey, can you let us through? And then he's gonna tell everybody. Yo. Evening, soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Mm. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. <laughs> Uh-oh. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. This man's about to lose his job. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. This is Brian David Gilbert. Yo, the BDG himself. Unraveled was one of my favorite series when that was still going on. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption game. <laughs> That's actually him. That's so cool. <sighs> Darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. All right, so this is like a little bit of sleuthing. Oh, oh, it's this guy again. This hard ass. Hey, done. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Serval, it's been a long time. <laughs> You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. You're still so hot, just like I remember. Bro, how can you see out of that helmet? Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn. 
an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Damn, just looking at that armor, you could call him Captain Dun Dun Dun. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight him pretty soon. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Something smells weird. What the hell? What are these troll ass responses? No. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, oh, what's that weird smell? Oh, you know what? March can take the fall for that one. <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? <laughs> Damn, bro. What the hell? I, I showered right before my shift. <laughs> Damn, bro, throwing Zachary under the bus like that? Hmm, what did you say? Hmm? I, I haven't showered in two days, sir. Yo, is the captain really doing this? Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. This is an embarrassment. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know. What do you mean? If you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. <laughs> Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Mm. Can you help me out? You're about to be done if you do this. Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. Oh, these are some unhinged responses. Anything wrong, Doc? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those <laughs> useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh-oh. He's like, I'm about to verify this. I'm not losing my job. Uh, this morning? Yeah. That's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. You don't have to go and do that. You don't have to do all that. Uh, hold up. He's back. Oh, shit. Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> You haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. Damn, this guy's pissed. These people you've brought, they're, they're not workshop assistants, right? All right, done. You gotta settle this. <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. Mm. But the outsiders must remain. There goes the negotiation. All right, well, it's time to throw down, boys. Sorry for getting you involved in this. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. All right. Done. this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval, we used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Ah, shit. Captain Dunn, no! You could say that. He's about to get done dirty. Ooh, okay. Rules are made to be broken. Rules are made to be broken, just like this man's spirit. <laughs> I was not expecting the impact noise of that hit to be so funny. <laughs> I also wasn't expecting to one-shot him like that. <laughs> I forgot to mention this earlier. Zila's eyes actually turn red here, which is a reference to Starchasm Nyx. And I Did didn't notice that until literally the other day. That shit is so freaking cool. Oh my God, the guards are back. Did you not see what Let's I did to that last guy? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. And there you go, GG boys. Bop. Serval, <laughs> why? We just bodied these guys. Sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. Yeah, we're done talking here. He's just unconscious. Don't worry. Stubborn fool. Hmm. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, oh, let's- Too late. Oh, damn, like that, though? I think we attracted attention. <laughs> That's the enemy attack alarm. Yeah. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. That's some free XP right there. Come on, let's take them out. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is going to find out a thing or two. <laughs> damn. <laughs> 
If I known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in. Oh my god, look at all these freaking myself. guns, all the ammunition. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you can't, so you won't. Uh oh. Oh no! They're coming over here to check. You know what? Who goes there? Who goes Someone there? Else. Your worst nightmare, buddy. Sneaky, sneaky. Take this. God, that's such a broken ability. <laughs> they were just slowly walking towards me. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that one guy got it so bad. Oh. Disappear among the Disappear sea of butterflies. Sea Illusions of, butterflies. of the past. My God, that's been like burned into my freaking cranium. Oh my God, is that a fucking grenadier? Dude, look at that guy. This man is freaking stacked. All right, don't mind me, sir. Oh, what the hell? Providing Don't support. When a supported friendly unit attacks any target, this unit will immediately launch a follow-up attack on the target. They're protecting each other to the bitter end. You left your boy to die. Look at that. Now you have no friends. And now you're dead. Oh, I got to fight that big chunky robot at the end of the hall. God damn it. I knew they were setting me up for a drive-by. Oh my God. Okay, hold up. There we go. Nice you decryption key. We're in. I didn't even see the chest in there. Oh, it's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Thank you, Dunn. I did all the work. Give me some time. Ugh, who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode. Who the heck added that? <laughs> And they used one of my songs. Damn. Gear bridge control terminal. Still found it. That's funny. Ooh. That's it. We're good? I've reset the energy system. Okay. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Let's get it. Serval's so goaded. What the heck? Don't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Then what's our plan? <laughs> Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Mr. Chonky Man is here. The faded reunion, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chonkers. Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. <laughs> There's no other way. We'll have to fight. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. General Mills 2.0 over here. You can fight it or rock with it. Nice. The double. Oh shit, that didn't even work. Nice. The show uh, almost uh, don't uh, mess uh, with uh, me. Uh, okay. Uh I love how that was the only character who could inflict weakness break on the enemy. Wish me luck, chat. Your boy's gonna need it. Bop! Okay, we're almost <laughs> So this boss is gonna die right now, right? So this boss is gonna die right now, right? Okay, thank God. Sheesh! Serval, you are worth it, and I'm so sorry that you met your demise to the Chonker Man. Energy restored, system online, certification enabled. Come on, come on. 40%, 65%, 85%. 100. <gasps> we did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. All right, let's get this bread. Oh. Perfect. Okay. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. Oh, uh, we're probably gonna have to fight Japard again, maybe. He probably is. <gasps> Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Yeah, talk to him with our fists. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance, or less. <laughs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. <laughs> True. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. Mm. My word is my bond. Damn. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Shit. But before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. <laughs> Meeting people up all the time is cramping my elegance. Oh, okay. I haven't fought with Japard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but... No. <gasps> Mans was like, I'm joining the preservation path. I will not be beaten by my sister again. I've had enough. Wait, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Can I move it again from over here? Big brain strats, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking go. I knew I wasn't crazy. I'll do anything for rewards, damn it. Actually, can I even open this door? Please. Please, game. God damn. Damn it. It's all good. We'll be back. We have to figure out a way around there, I think. I low-key kind of want to swap out Natasha. Oh, 
Well, you know what? Say less. Gepard, time to meet your maker. Serval, it really is you. Wait, Gepard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage, and yet. She's like, nah, I just felt like doing this. Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. You don't know me! You don't know what I've been through! I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Give me a few minutes. Just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. Shit. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every silver main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yeah, maybe too eagerly at that. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my silver main comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Uh-oh. Are you really worthy of the Landau name. Okay, buddy. The family name. Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the eternal freeze, to seal the fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. Oh! Oh my god, that's impossible! You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? I'm sorry, dude, but you're looking pretty foolish right now. Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. Oh boy. The Madame Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. Oh yeah? These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. Oh, they kind of need to. Otherwise, your fucking planet's dunge. The Madame Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy, that you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge, and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. <laughs> I believe you, Sir. Please. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Bro, stop with this forbidden knowledge. I can't. Use a different word. Use a different phrase, please. Guards, formation. Arrest these people. We could be inundated with fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Yo, facts. Kokolia's afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. Mm -hmm. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Japard, we're not gonna lose to you. <laughs> what happened to Bray? <laughs> All right, this is no time for funny business, okay? Think thrice, Jepard. Save your explanation for the judge. Oh my God. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted mm -mm. zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. Oh my God, you'll get no sympathy from me. Okay, Ike. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. March 7th, I feel so bad. She's like, my elegance. <laughs> All right, here we go. I was prepared. I was ready for this moment. Let me take out your goons first. <laughs> you just punched Sila in the face. I love how she was like, oh yeah, me and my brother used to fight all the time when we were kids. He could never beat me, but now, and look at him, weak against electricity. That's so funny. Turn it up. That'd be so good if I could freeze you right now. Jepard. Jepard, come on, dude. <laughs> You're not putting up much of a fight right now, my guy. Ready to lose yourself? <laughs> Ready to lose to your sister? Jepard's like, I'm not a fan of rock music. It's never been my flavor. This ends here. Yeah, this ends here. You hear me? Me? <laughs> ah, he resisted. God damn. All right. Our position is so Ah, you fool. You've activated my ability to shield my allies. I'm going to save this, though. All right. So I'm going to hit him with this, this, and then this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Looks like I got to do it to him, chat. <laughs> got to hit him with the almighty bonk. This is... <laughs> I'm going to do to him what I did to one of his comrades. No!
God damn. You know, I had to do it to him. This guy knows how to put up a fight. Mm. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. The Aegis Shield, my boy. I mean, not E2, but you know. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. <laughs> That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Mm. Damn. Even if I am, I won't yield. He's like, damn, that bat did a number on me. <laughs> we don't need you to yield. Okay, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. Brainwaves, anyone? <laughs> we don't want you to yield through force. Of oh, us. okay. Just ignore me. Would it be a victory for us. They just hard ignored me right there. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Ranya's. Damn. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother. Surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. True. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Yeah, what's up with that letter? Lady Bronya. Telling Jepard everything you know and showing him Bronya's letter. Yeah, there you go. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. <laughs> the decision is yours. I love how we didn't show him the letter before we like beat his ass. <laughs> As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But what if she's lying to you? Fine, I still got fight in me. This is right here for anyone that's just like head empty, only fighting. Let's throw down. Final answer? Come on, Jepard. But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front line. Yeah! According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, Ooh. a soldier must remain at their post oh. and await further directives. Hey, we got a loophole. Thank you for understanding. Guys, I hit him so hard. He's having a change of heart. He's thinking differently. Let's go. For the Silvermane guards, the guardian's orders are paramount and absolute, but there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. Hmm. The people of Balabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Mm. Our fight with the Fragmentum monsters is for the sake of preservation. Yes. But our fight with you, I fail to see the purpose. Guys, look at it this way. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. We lose all of those trash cans and all of the trash that will then fill those trash cans for us to discover like wonders beyond our wildest dreams. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Bronya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. Okay, this man literally just said, I'll kill all of you with my bare hands. <laughs> They're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. She's built different. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Okay! Zela, what's going on? I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane guards. They're fighting for survival here every day, just like Wildfire. Really the difference is, we're making a stand for freedom. America. Well, they're just carrying out orders. That's why we have to try and put ourselves in their shoes. Put ourselves in their shoes? Easier said than done. True. Everyone has their struggles, but how can we understand them if we can't even see each other? Do you understand Bronia's struggles? Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now, but as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people's understanding. She needs to understand her own heart. Mm. It's the same with Jepard. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. Alright, it's time to finish this. I think I can already hear the storm on the other side of the city walls. Oh, Jesus. Not a reassuring sound. I hope Sir Val's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Bronya. Oh, damn. Uh, that's your mother-in-law? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. Yeah, that is true. Sorry for getting you involved in this. Ugh, enough apologizing. My ears can't take anymore. Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. All right, so this is how brothers and sisters normally normally coexist? What's wrong with a bit of violent coexistence between <laughs> siblings? Seems pretty normal to me. Uh, I'm pulling your leg. Since I left the military, my brother and I have always steered clear of certain sensitive topics. Uh, thinking about it, 
Perhaps he's just been looking out for my feelings, hmm. shielding me all along. Knowing my temper, my brother almost certainly went to great lengths on many occasions for me. I should be thanking him. With a good beating. Let the Stellaron hunt begin. Yo, Stellaron hunters, we're about to join them? Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable job. It's time to get even. Damn. Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that I was right. Once we've taken care of the Stellaron, maybe she'll go back to how she was. Also, I know I was just joking with that comment, but low-key, like, we know about Kafka. Are we a Stellaron hunter? We just don't know Sorry, it yet? Uh, hardly the time for me to be obsessing over all this. We're also going after these Stellarons, technically, even if we don't As know why. If we want to progress further north, we're going to have to cross that hell. Look at it this way. Just another arena to showcase our skills, right? If you're ready to get on stage, let's push for that standing ovation. Oh my God, these things got all fucked up. Oh my God, look at this one. All right, Japard. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. Damn. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies mm. within the Northern Fragmentum. All right, wish me luck. Have you made up your mind? March 7th, you look very happy to go out there. <laughs> Is she not affected by the cold? Because she was like encased in six phase ice. Look at her. We're ready. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. All right, let's get this bread, gamers. Oh! Oh, shit. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. Oh. Well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. Oh, oh my gosh. For universal peace. It's like, look, we're just fighting for the planet, okay? Fuck the galaxy. Fuck the universe. It's not that deep, all right? <laughs> for Bronia. Here they come. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's next? Yo, turn base? More like Sela base. What the heck? The more the merrier. She can't These be stopped. Sheesh. My shield main over here is about to bite the dust. Okay, I got this. To give him the old one two. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled Oh, soon. man. I have to. Yeah, this is kind of my fault. He's holding his head, man. I'm pretty sure he's got some, like, brain hemorrhaging right now. Some internal bleeding from a certain someone, certain main character. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. Yeah, I wonder why. Outsiders. Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? What? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you going to look for the Stellaron with us? Ah, uh, man. She's like, I got to protect my broham. My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Aw. Besides. That's good. I'm glad that she's not, like, leaving her brother to die. If I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes. Mm. And... Oh, it's so close, but I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. I'm glad that she did that. I'm happy she did that. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. We won't disappoint you. Charge! These meme decisions, man. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Yeah, she's like, yeah, that's going up in my room. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Hmm. Alrighty. Hey, you know what? March 7th is kind of like the witness of this game. She's like snapshotting everything. She's preserving everything as a memory. Oh! Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Hold up. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Yo, welted Himiko? What the heck? Out of nowhere. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? But who's gonna stay with Pom Pom? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Yeah, they could die or they can come out victorious. We'll never know unless we let them do it. Are you bored, Welt? I understand, but we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Memories? Mm -hmm. Y'all have a freaking ghostly, like, memo keeper on the ship right now, and you're talking about memories. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. 
Aww. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. Yet. We haven't seen any Aeons or Emanator level imaginary reactions yet. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. Damn. At most, we could offer a little off-site assistance. Boomer moment. Wait, you guys gonna text us? Emojis for moral support. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this. Hmm. The corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. Oh, we gotta get through this. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Mm -hmm. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... Mm. Like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. Okay, that's a little weird. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually, cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, I also know that it's more dangerous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy thought it was, you know, just a walk in the park too. And look at him. Icing the competition. Oh, uh, look. Up ahead on the ground. What is that? Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the fragment. What the hell is this? Investigate items discarded on the road. We're deep inside the fragmentum. There could be hidden danger. Let's look for oh, oh, okay. I don't even know what was in that chest because it like cut me off. Oh, could it be? No, no trash can, Lord. We can't let these trash cans be this oppressed is... by the fragmentum anymore. Oh, yes. We found it in the orphanage. Yeah, so she's she's been here already? Whoa, quick, look. What? What's up? That's Branya. Huh? Is that Kakolia too? What the hell? It isn't them. My tripping balls? It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. I can't see anything. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Oh, so we're gonna follow these like apparitions to the goal? Oh, her snow globe. Branya's toy as a child. The snowy owl circles in the snowfield looking for the best opportunity to hunt the hare. Even if our connection to the past is completely broken, there are still things that can complete us that's so sweet oh oh shit they're actually right there this shit's dank as hell oh this is kind of cool let's eavesdrop on their conversation you still haven't told me what this place is mother 700 years ago this was bellabog's northern border okay and the site of an ancient battle here is where elisa rand led the first silver mm. main guards in resistance against the legion Yep. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Branya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? Mm. It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. Kakolia, it don't be deceived, please. You're too beautiful. And yet, the crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction soon. Okay. Destruction path has gained a new follower, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. What do you mean embrace that destruction sooner? Excuse me? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. Damn. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. Nanook is just gazing upon this planet. He's just like, we got another one, boys. Let's go. <laughs> When the promise is fulfilled, Branya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. <laughs> Ma, you good? She took that Stellaron edible, dude. She's like, that Stellaron edible ain't shit. Mechanism? How did they get past? <sighs> I knew this wouldn't be simple. Uh-oh. Uh, 
Wait, wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that Oh area? my god. Let's go back and take a look. Don Maybe Hung literally to told me twice not to touch it. I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings. Mm -hmm. Especially this deep into the fragmentum. God damn it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Makes sense, makes sense. Huh, even Don Hung the sensible has his adventurous days. All right, let's do it. Uh, oh, that was it? No puzzle? A one? What the heck? It worked, right? But the gate didn't move an inch. Are there other units around? It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Hmm. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. We gotta go for a, a bunch of these now. All right, let's track them down. Look, over there. I think I can see the next unit. Yeah, down the way. I see it too. Let's go. Let's go. At the time of this recording, it's Mother's Day. We gotta do it for Mama Cacolia. Alrighty, so I think this is a good spot for us to kind of wrap up. I know I kind of indirectly was about to continue on with that, but I... I don't want to overwhelm myself. I've been streaming for six hours so far. I do have plans after this, so I am going to leave it off here. Uh, happy Mother's Day to Mama Cacolia, but we are going to be able to hopefully finish off Bellabog tomorrow. We made a lot of progress today, I would say, playthrough-wise, account-wise. ton of people showed up and tuned into the streams throughout everything I was doing, reading lore, making my way through Simulated Universe, and kind of my experience through the story. I just appreciate y'all's patience with the playthrough so far. I've been enjoying it every step of the way, personally. Personally, this is like the best way that I enjoy playing these types of games. I don't like to be too overwhelmed or too gung-ho with anything, but uh, that's going to do it for this session for right now. Like I said, we're going to be continuing tomorrow and I will officially be done with Bellabog then, so I'm excited.